It's my pleasure to invite uh, Professor uh, Iva Marukva Kominek from uh, Poland to uh, show his experience on different model and how is uh, the right one trifocal different in uh, in the latest experience. So please, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Rainer, to invite me to this uh, meeting. Uh, my first experience with Rainer lenses was many years ago when uh, they started with, man uh, with monofocal and then with multifocal lens with uh, addition plus four, plus three. And uh, it was after the uh, long period that we explanted, uh, implanted and explanted multifocal lenses in another company. And after the first presentation, I was sure that the, uh, for the patient, for our patient, uh, the uh, Rainer platform, uh, the platform for the Rainer lenses are very good. So uh, when I have the, uh, the opportunity to implant the tri trifocal lenses, uh, I ask uh, one patient, a young patient, if uh, they would like to uh, to uh, be the first patient with this lens, it was in May uh, this year, and uh, so uh, I would like to show you our uh, results between the three months of uh, observation period. Uh, we know that the, uh, the application of the all innovative technology are uh, very um, useful, and the, uh, in each change in implemented uh, the, on every topic is uh, innovative. One, we know this guy with. Uh, Thomas talk about uh, him and um, what I would like to um, to focus on the that this current surgical uh, technique for presbyopia correction are based on the three principal approaches. So the monovision, the first uh, is achieved to uh, monovision to create the acquisition of anisometropia with one eye corrected uh, for distance vision and the other for near. Second uh, approach is to increase the functional uh, ocular depth of focus by creating simultaneously multifocality or uh, this achieving uh, satisfactory distance for near vision and the third approach is uh, surgically achieved uh, real changes in accommodation or changes in ocular lens power. Um, so uh, this is important that uh, we uh, understand the, uh, the availability of multifocal lenses and uh, the depth of focus lenses. I think that I can uh, go forward because uh, it was explained that this uh, very uh, important for the patients that uh, to understand that uh, if the patients would like to see good uh, for near we choose another lens, and another lens we choose when the patient is a, a driver or uh, the best option for him is uh, do good, good vision for intermediate or distance uh, vision. The new gener generation of multifocal lenses um, um, uh, with good selection of the patients to give the opportunity to 90% of patients uh, implanted uh, was uh, independent on glasses. Um, certain future um, of multifocal uh, IOLs can reduce the contrast sen sensitivity, um, cause photopic phenomenon, and pose limitations to use of multifocal lens. Uh, the depth of focus o uh, may overcome some of the uh, drawbacks of multifocal uh, IOLs and therefore may have extent in indications for implantations. The uh, depth of focus lens provide good quality of vision. However, these lenses are still relatively new and uh, um, the, um, the quality of um, uh, multifocal lenses for far and for near um, vision with traditional refractive and diffractive multifocal IOLs has been improved now with techniques that include apodization, diffraction, sm smoothing, spherical aberration correction, and compensation of chromatic aberrations. This is the, um, the, the, um, uh, um, the introduction to the diffractive trifocal IOLs we have now uh, due to this uh, uh, company who uh, invite us today. Um, uh, if we can, uh, if we can compare the uh, category of diffractive um, uh, or focus IOL and multifocal IOL, we have many on the market. But uh, if we see of these lenses and if we uh, if we uh, discuss with patients, we can choose the right lens. Um, the indications for the multifocal and depth of focus lens are, as I told you or near or, um, or uh, intermediate vision, what the patients need, uh, need more. 
So I go forward, the, uh, the Rainer Trifocal IOL is, is the newest member of the Rainer family, uh, preloaded IOL based on the well-known high-performance Rainer platform. Uh, so uh, it was, uh, uh, it was uh, uh, my previous uh, presenter explained you uh, the uh, advantages of this lens, but for me the, um, the more uh, important is uh, the superb centration of the lens, maximum offset of uh, only one millimeter after three months uh, after surgery. So I can tell that this is true. This uh, really very uh, stable. The rotation, uh, rotational and torsional stability is uh, um, uh, about three uh, degree um, uh, months after the surgery. Um, the platform is very uh, uh, is excellent. As we can tell that the, now we have uh, uh, preloaded lens with good stability. Um, you can see the movie. Oh, yeah. It's only the short, uh, uh, short uh, implantation of the lens is uh, to, that uh, uh, slowly and roll, roll and uh, rock and roll, rock and <laughs> roll um, technology that this uh, smooth, uh, really uh, nice, uh, uh, Nice, uh, and uh, and uh, I would like to show you also the depth uh, of the uh, um, sharp image. This is really uh, you can see on the microscope uh, that you can uh, go uh, down and uh, and up. Uh, really, this distance is very uh, large. So. Uh, <laughs> The contrast sensitivity in the the contrast sensitivity in the Rainer lenses is also uh, uh, excellent uh, due to the three Foxy point, um, and uh, uh, we in include uh, to this study uh, eight patients, 16 eyes uh, with Ray one trifocal IOL implantation. The mean age was 67 years, so uh, it was the presbyopic patient. Um, the power of the IOL difference uh, was between 13 and half to uh, 25, and uh, this was standard FECO. So as you see the surgery after the implantation, and I would like to show you the, uh, the, the results. The uh, uncorrected distance visual acuity in this group of patients was uh, very uh, good. After 14 days, uh, uh, the mean was 1.0. Uh, the maximum, 1.5. Five. This is the uh, decimal scale. So after one month is uh, uh, stable, and the same you can see here after the surgery. Uh, after 14 days, this is direct. Next day after the surgery and uh, stable af until uh, one month. So I can uh, say that the uh, first group of patients after three months is also 1.0. Um, the uncorrected near visual acuity in the Snellens chart. So uh, the less, uh, the less, uh, uh, the, the better. So you can see after direct after surgery is 1.0 and uh, one month after is uh, 0.5 without any glasses. Uh, uncorrected intermediate visual acuity um, in the Jaeger, uh, Jaeger uh, chart is uh, uh, also stable. Uh, after surgery is uh, four and is uh, until one month war, was uh, stable. Uh, in the significant majority of patients, the maximum visual acuity for far intermediate in uh, and uh, uh, near vision was uh, um, uh, was very good. Uh, the intermediate J2 was reached in three um, of the 11 uh, after surgery and uh, 14 days, eight from the 11 patients reached uh, J2. Um, the uncorrected that intermediate vision uh, in comparison with our other uh, trifocal lens panoptics um, the was uh, uh, better. You can see here this is the after 14 days and one month, and here you can see this is after the uh, two weeks uh, surgery. So we can compare this with this that is uh, much better with the uh, right one trifocal. The best reading distance is uh, similar, 51 centimeters in comparison to 53. With uh, panoptics, we um, don't notice uh, difference in density of corneal and otelial cells before and after the surgery, no significant uh, difference in uh, IOP. Um, and the patient satisfaction uh, uh, test with VF14 was very, uh, very good. The uh, patients are very satisfied. Um, so we can 
conclude that the short results uh, demonstrate that the Rai-1 trifocal IOL is able, is able to restore near intermediate and distance visual function. Um, significant improvement in the quality of life related to uh, vision uh, with the uh, VV14 questionnaire. And uh, we don't, uh, uh, don't notice any dislocation after three months of the uh, observation. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Thank you. Really nice.